Welcome back to the Hot to Best Daily Pick Show here for Sunday, October 15th. Back with some more NFL action here for week six. Got a great Sunday ahead of us of games here. So we'll jump into all of those here in a second, give out some picks. But before we do, quickly looking over to Dub Club. If you haven't already subscribed, now is absolutely a great time to do so. You can get all of the YouTube shows early and ad free. And it's a little bit late, obviously, for this video if you're watching publicly on YouTube. But, um, you know, for all the weekend slates, I try to get them up even earlier. This video going up on on Friday night for all the Dub Club subscribers. Um, but of course, it's always up at least the night before for all of these cards. And as well, you can get Dub Club notifications every single time I place a bet. You can get access to the Discord server um, and my recommended unit size. So if you haven't already signed up, what are you waiting for? Use that link down below. Use code Chris10 at checkout. You can get $10 off your first month. Normally priced at $19.99, you can get it for only $9.99. So um, like always, I truly appreciate all you guys who have signed up. You help keep the channel alive, help us keep making videos. Um, and just help us keep going. So thank you so much. Let's get into today's show. So we start today's show off in Chicago as the Vikings take on the Bears for the Vikings. Coming to this game as the 17th overall team in the Hot Tibet Power Ranking. Chicago is the 29th overall team. Offensively, the Vikings getting the advantage in this one. 12th overall, Chicago the 22nd team overall. Also getting the advantage on the defensive side of things in the rankings. 19th overall, Chicago the 28th overall team. And while both these teams are 1-4 and four on the season, certainly it feels like the Vikings are in a slightly better spot. Um, albeit, maybe not by much. Obviously, Kirk Cousins has had some struggles this year, but certainly has not been entirely his fault. I mean, really, it's a, a Vikings defense that has certainly given him no help at times. Um, and really, they've looked decent in some of these games, just haven't been able to put it all together, um, you know, as far as consistency. Obviously, the injury to Justin Jefferson is going to be huge for this Vikings team, a team that was already struggling, you know, seemingly going to be hurt even more with that one. But it's not like they're going up against the toughest team in the world. Obviously, the Bears do come off the win um, against Washington in their last game. Washington, um, you know, falling in that one, the Bears' first win of the season, get the little extra, you know, short buy here for the Bears in this game. Justin Fields hasn't been great this season either. Really, just two teams and two quarterbacks who have had some struggles, two teams who have dealt with some injuries, certainly. Um, but as far as this game goes, it does feel like a bit of a turning point for Chicago. Obviously, you know, a season ago, Justin Fields down the stretch of the season, Chicago, you know, let him do his thing a little bit more. And, and while the team didn't necessarily find a whole lot of success, he definitely looked better. And while I don't know that he's going to be the long term answer for this Bears team by any means, I think if they can just allow him to do, um, you know, what he did against Washington a week ago, it's a Bears team that can certainly have more success on the offensive side of things than they have had this season. Going to need to show up a little bit on the defensive side of things. Certainly hasn't been pretty there. But as far as the model goes here for this one, it does like it to be a pretty close game. Um, does have the Vikings favored ever so slightly. 23.79 points for them. Chicago with 21.26. Going to for a 2.52 spread in Minnesota's favor here entering this one. Um, and certainly the odds have come down even closer to that number. Opened up at a four and a half point favorite for Minnesota. We currently sit at three here. Actually no advantage on the spread um, here for this game. Um, and one of the rare times where I'm going to bet something the model doesn't necessarily love, you know, definitely the slight lean towards Chicago, even if it's not enough to register um, with the edge here being, you know, the three point spread where we currently sit. And as long as they stay at three, if you can get it a little bit better, that'd be great. But as long as Chicago stays at three here, I do like this pick. I think Justin Fields is going to see some improvement. I hesitate to say that, but I think he improves a little bit. And I think it's a Vikings team that's just going to continue to struggle, especially without Jefferson on the field. Taking Chicago plus three here against the Vikings. We head to Atlanta for this next game as the Commanders take on the Falcons for the Commanders. Coming to this one as the 28th overall team in the Hot Tibet Power Ranking. Atlanta is the 23rd overall team. Offensively, the Commanders do have the slight edge in the rankings. 18th overall, while Atlanta the 26th overall team. Defensively, though, Atlanta getting the edge there. 23rd overall, while Washington the 30th overall team here entering this game. Um, and obviously, two teams who... Neither one of them have been great this season. Atlanta may be slightly better, but certainly not without their own problems. I mean, a few weeks ago against the Jaguars in London, really, really struggled there in Gat game. Looked a little bit better last week, obviously getting the win um, against Houston. But overall, two teams who have struggled. Obviously, Desmond Ritter hasn't looked the best for this Falcons team, but I still have high hopes in him. You know, he's still a, a manageable quarterback in my mind. And with Drake London on that offense, with B. John Robinson especially, it's an offense for the Falcons 
that can move the ball and certainly if they can get some of the passing game going with Ritter can definitely not be a terrible offense especially when you compare it to the commanders who while Sam Howell has been a serviceable quarterback certainly the sacks are concerning it's going to be a problem certainly as the season goes on um, and the defense hasn't been the best for Washington this season, which I expected more out of here coming into the year. And the Falcons defense, while maybe not the best in the league either, has been slightly better, certainly, uh, you know, comparatively here in this contest. As far as the model goes, Dells definitely like Atlanta at home in this one. 24.04 points projected for them. Washington at 19.22. Good enough for a 4.82 spread in Atlanta's favor here entering this game. And as far as the odds currently sit, we got... Atlanta minus two, some two and a half floating out there as well. Um, if you want on the Washington side, but hasn't moved much from the open, opened at minus one and a half. They are currently a 3.42% edge for the Falcons here entering this game. And that's exactly where I'm looking. You know, it's a Falcons team that we bet early and we bet, I don't know, probably <laughs> three of the four weeks, I think, or three of the five weeks they've played here this season so far. And it's a team that Truthfully, I still have a lot of faith in, and I think it's an offense that if Ritter can find anything and even just the slightest bit of success, it's a team that can really pop off and have a lot of success. I'm taking the Falcons, minus two here against the Commanders. And the final game I want to take a look at here on Sunday's card, one of the more exciting games of the day, the Lions taking on the Buccaneers for the Lions coming to this game as the sixth overall team in the hot tip power ranking. The Bucs are the seventh overall team offensively Detroit getting the pretty big advantage here second overall while the Bucks are 15th but kind of flipped on the defensive side of things the Bucks the fifth overall team Detroit the 13th overall team coming into this game and obviously the Lions have had all sorts of success this season Jared Goff having another just impressive solid year um, you know has looked very very good this year um, and really the Lions as a whole it's hard to doubt at this point what they have been able to do um, obviously playing without a Monron St. Brown last week you know was a bit of a concern but you know it really was no problem for this Detroit team and um, really the offense has been good the defense on the other hand a little bit concerning at times certainly but it's been competitive you know it's done enough to win games and, and truthfully that's all you can ask from that team and as far as the Buccaneers go obviously Baker Mayfield um, you know coming in hasn't been a bad quarterback either sort of not the exact same situation that Goff found himself in um, in Detroit but a place that is I think a great landing spot for Baker Mayfield and certainly a job um, that if he can continue to play decently well I think he can excel at um, for a bit to come and obviously Mike Evans um, probable here to return for this game um, you know definitely is a, a big piece to this offense um, and really it's a Buccaneers team that on the defensive side of things has looked very very strong this season um, you know has been one of the top defenses in the league certainly and as far as the model goes does like the Bucks to come out victorious here at home 24.24 or 27 points projected for them Detroit at 21.89 good enough for a 2.38 spread in the Buccaneers favor here in this one but I think it's almost impossible to pick a winner here in this game. Um, while I might slightly lean the Bucks, I think the better bet here is going to be the total 46.16 projected points here from the model. And it's definitely come down a bit from the open. The open there at 45 and a half, currently sitting at 42 um, and a half, 42, depending if you're going the, uh, over or under there. But for the over 42, currently the best line at 10.12% edge. Um, in our favor there and that's exactly where I'm looking at I think with these two quarterbacks we're going to see a pretty high scoring game yeah the Bucks defense has been good but um, I think with the, how the Lions defense has looked and how Jared Goff has looked we can see a pretty high scoring game overall taking the over 42 points here for this one and that'll do it here for Sunday show and if you want to see more sports betting action for everything going on today head over to hottipbets.com of course you can take a look at the matchups for all of the NFL slate got the MLB postseason going on um, of course college football here every week UFC horse racing picks the NHL season going on as well and got the NBA and college basketball coming up in a few weeks so make sure you go check out the website and don't miss out on any of the action also follow the social links down below Facebook Instagram TikTok Twitter to stay up to date with everything that's going on over there as well as if you're watching on YouTube hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future uploads and most importantly drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on here for Sunday. Thank you for watching today's show. I will see you guys tomorrow.